let's get started with python to follow this course head over to github and search for packet prep python fundamentals i'll share this link in the description you can download this github repository onto your desktop so it has about 10 files where all the code is already there in these files and there's one folder by name start so this particular folder has the same file structure but uh, these are bare bone templates uh, what i mean is it has only the comments but there's no code so what you could do is while i'm explaining the concept you could use these files for practicing the code wherein you could type the code parallelly with me all right assuming that you have downloaded this code the next thing is what sort of editor should i use uh, in order to run python code so coming to the editor there is no specific uh, specification as such but you are free to choose whatever you want so my recommendations would be either you can go with atom editor or maybe pycharm this is really good i like pycharm therefore i am using pycharm so you can just head over to the website and you could download the version which is relevant to your operating system once this is done then what you need to do is you can open the terminal so it's called the terminal in mac open system or a command prompt in windows or even you can open the powershell and then you please type python dash capital v the moment you hit enter you would see which version of the python is installed in your system by default if nothing is printed then what you need to do is you go to the google and just type python it will take you to the python.org then move to the downloads and check out for the download so right now it's already installed therefore i'm not installing you can look for your operating system and download the latest version so my recommendation is go for 3.8 and above and just install it once it is installed then again come back to your command prompt and type python and you should be seeing the version which is installed on your system assuming that you have installed python let's open the interpreter directly from the command prompt so to invoke python interpreter you can just type python and just hit enter the moment you do that it will take you to a shell where you have these three arrows indicating that the interpreter has started so whatever you type here that would be executed line by line so you could quickly do few basic mathematical calculations maybe i could do 3 plus 5 and just hit enter it gives you the result 8 or maybe i would type print and in the brackets let's say hello and immediately it will print hello on the shell and if you want to exit from this prompt just type exit and two brackets exit is a function therefore there are brackets you hit enter and you're done there are few things you need to understand here like i mentioned python is a interpreted language that means it executes line by line and there is no concept of compilation which you might see in c programming you compile the code then you execute therefore when you compile the whole program is checked for errors and then then only it gets compiled and when you execute there won't be any errors except the runtime errors unlike that in python because it's a line by line execution and the moment you start the program you might see some output and if any error is generated the program will be halted the second thing is in most of the programming languages we are used to the concept of a semicolon the moment you complete one line you put a semicolon but in python we don't have any semicolons 
you directly type the code line by line that's it this much of understanding is sufficient let's start coding now because python gives you an option to type everything in the command prompt you could type it but the problem is it's very hard to manage so it's always advisable to pick up an editor which is comfortable for you and type code in a file and then execute that particular file so for that reason i'm using pycharm i'll open the pycharm and these are my files now let's write the first program so you could open the hello.py and let's type in the first set of code hello so my code is ready and the beauty of this ide is it gives you a color coded format so it's easy to understand and if there are any errors it's easy to debug all right so the first line of code is ready so if you want to execute you could right click and there's an option called run and you see that there's a window popped up which basically gives you the output hello you could also do it from here there's a green button on the top the moment you click it you get the output hello so with this understanding i would recommend you to do a very quick quiz on the basics of python so this is the link head over to this point and just solve these questions